It'll be one to go this time, bye. Coming to the green, buddy, coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, 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 take, 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 go, 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 go. Get some motor running. Head out on the highway. All right, folks, we're going to get the uh, next announcement underway here in the uh, deadline room. On behalf of Nationwide Insurance, sponsor of the NASCAR Nationwide Series, I'm Alan Bestwick. Some say I'm an accident waiting to happen. My hockey coach, anyway. Uh, joined by John Amon, the Associate Vice President of uh, Nationwide Insurance, and Kevin Harvick, former Nationwide Series champion, Nationwide Series team owner. Let's see, uh, won a bunch of races at this racetrack. We'll, we'll get to him um, in just a minute. First, I want to uh, ask John to explain some details of what we're here to talk about today, which is Nationwide's new fall NASCAR promotion. John? Thank you, Alan. One of the things that Nationwide wanted to do when it came into this sport was can look for ways to engage the fan, uh, make this race, uh, this series, as interesting or more interesting than it had been in the past. And therefore, today, we're here to announce what is called the Switch and Save 500 Sweepstakes. It's a way for the fan to engage uh, in the Nationwide Series and also get a much uh, better deal on their insurance. The uh, basics of it, uh, with Kevin sitting here next to me, he's uh, been generous with his time to spend a little, little bit of it with us in, in helping us promote it. Uh, the basic uh, idea behind this is that race fans will have a chance to contact Nationwide uh, at an 877 number, 877-NW-SERIES, or at nationwide.com slash switch. And if they do that and get a quote from Nationwide, then they'll be enrolled in the sweepstakes. That sweepstakes gives them an opportunity to get trackside at Las Vegas Motor Speedway next spring. When they're at Las Vegas, they'll have the use of a motorhome uh, for the weekend, uh, that motorhome is being provided by Camping World, uh, one of Kevin's friends. Mm -hmm. They'll have $2,000 of spending cash for the weekend, and they'll be able to get trackside and spend some time with Kevin while they're there. So uh, it's an all-expense-paid weekend at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. We're going to have some guests on in Vegas, Mr. Harvick. Yes, we are. So we're, um, first of all, I just want to thank Nationwide for everything that they've done for our sport and our series, uh, it's been a great first uh, first year to, to come in and, and really see the activation and everything that's gone on. And I'm just proud to be a part of uh, of the new campaign and, and involving our team and, and everything that goes with with the with the series. So uh, we had a lot of fun shooting the commercial in, in Charlotte. Uh, there were no mailboxes taken out or anything in, in the filming of the commercial, so that was uh, that was good. But um, you know the the number I think 877 NW series. I think that'll forever be in my head. So. Um, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun to, to mingle with, with the, the winner of the, the contest in, in Las Vegas and uh, have him spend their weekend uh, at the racetrack. So we're really excited and, and looking forward to, to seeing the commercial. And they even got me to sing. So it should be uh, turned out really good. I didn't know about that part. All right. So, <laughs> it's not so very good. if Kevin sings on TV, let's, let's see the commercial. ever-present countdown. I hear those in my sleep at night. Okay, here's, here's what I need to know. Please don't tell me you're going to try to teach me how to sing, because that's no. not going to happen. No. Okay. Whose car and how much rubber was left on the tires <laughs> and how many takes did that take? Well, I think the car broke, but we had good insurance, so that's all that matters. <laughs> Very good. Very good. John, first year as Nationwide is a sponsor of a series in NASCAR like this. Obviously, there's some feeling your way around. From your experiences so far, pleased, happy? Uh, Nationwide is very pleased. 
the coverage that Nationwide and the series is receiving has been excellent. Uh, our media partners uh, on broadcast, in print, online have done a great job changing the name of the series to Nationwide and uh, helping us say a little bit about why Nationwide got into the sport. So we've, we're very excited about where we are right now. At, at one point, I knew what the tally was of the dollars going into the bin there, but I forget what it was. But it was a, it was a couple hundred dollars. But I don't think that's bad for a group of announcers after, after a name change like that. Uh, we're going to open the floor to questions for anyone, for John, about the promotion, for Kevin while he's sitting here. Tom? Kevin, while you're sitting here, Tom Jensen, SpeedTV.com. You're a busy guy these days as an owner and a driver. What do you enjoy more, being an owner or being a driver, and why? I think there's different aspects that you enjoy of, of each part. Um, you know, for me, on the, from the ownership side of it, it's a challenge to, to put the people together and, and the day-to-day the -day challenge of, of keeping the business going forward in a positive direction is, is fun for me. I, I, I enjoy that, that challenge. Um, but the, the driver, the competitive driver, is, is what drives me on a day-to-day -day basis to, to stay in soothe enthused about everything that's um, that's going on so um, you know the, they both have different different drives and in, in different aspects of, of what you want to achieve and, and the, the gratification that comes out of them Ron Ron the Masters National Speed Sport News John uh, is, th is this have you done something similar to this with your other sponsorships like the golf series and things like that and and what is this uh, what are you looking for is there a limit or, or a, a number that you're looking for in, in terms of participants in this? We have, for the last few years, uh, run some sort of sweepstakes in golf. Uh, we're running one now with ESPN online. Uh, I think this year, uh, having this type, this level of sponsorship, we're feeling our way through to see what type of response we can get with a three-month uh, promotion. Uh, using you know a highly visible well recognized well respected driver as as part of our effort uh, in the end uh, you know we're we're hoping for fifty to a hundred thousand people enrolling in sweepstakes and a number of them deciding that we should be their insurance carrier I know you're going to get thirty thousand right off the bat <laughs> <laughs> my space Mike uh, Mike Henry NASCAR scene uh, Kevin uh, it looks like Joey Logano is going to drive the 20 Cup car next season. Uh, I realize your circumstances aren't exactly the same, but but with you jumping into uh, Earnhardt's car at a relatively young age and thrown into the spotlight with a major accomplished team, can you compare the situations? Is Joey really going to be put under a lot of pressure jumping in uh, immediately as a young kid with a top team like that? I don't think there's any comparison. Um, in that particular situation, um, you know, I, I think um, you know the closest you might be able to come to that is probably Kurt Busch getting in Rusty Wallace's car, and he'd already established his career. So uh, I can't think of a good example for you, but I don't I don't think there's really a comparison in that particular situation. Questions? Okay. Nate Ryan, USA Day. Kevin, um, <clears throat> your teammate Jeff Burton's gonna make his 500th start at, at California Speedway. Just wondered if you just kept Talk about like where you think he ranks career-wise, you know, just, you know, where maybe he sort of stands in the NASCAR landscape at that landmark. Well, I think if there's one thing I've learned about Burton, and I'm glad that I know this now because I'll really be able to give him some grief about being old. Um, me and Clint, uh, Clint and I actually uh, give him a lot of grief about that. But, you know, I think if you, if you go ask Jeff Burton, I think you know, I can pretty much tell you what the standard answer is going to be is he's, never really thought about it and he doesn't really it's not that he doesn't care about anything that's going on he just goes about his business and he's very focused on what he does as a driver and a, and a person um, in our sport and but the sport means a lot to him but if you ask him about himself he'll you know he'll downplay the the, the role that he's played in taking our sport to what it is I think Jeff has um, you know he's obviously a he's a leader in our sport to and that has taken it to the level that it is from a safety standpoint, from a spokesman, uh, from from everything that comes with the sport. So, I think uh, I don't I don't necessarily know that you can rank anybody in the sport. I'm sure everybody has their opinion, but uh, he's definitely a a big part of our sport and, and why it is what it is today, in his own way. 